and welcome friends this time around we are going to uh, eliminate these two particular equations we have got the first one this is x minus 2y this gives us 4 and the second one is x minus 4y this will give us 6 now take note the first session if you had noticed we started by finding the value of y now this time around i want us to first find the values of x first how do you do that if you want to find the values of x this simply means that the variables of y will be cancelled so then what are you supposed to do well during such times by elimination method what you do is to make sure that the coefficients of the y variables are the same okay the coefficient of y variables are the same in this case we have got negative 2 and the minus 4 so you see that the difference so you need to make sure that you balance them up now how do you balance them up so what you do uh, in the first equation the coefficient of y is negative 2 and in the second equation the coefficient of y here is uh, minus 4 so what you do you swap the coefficient of negative 2 in the first equation will multiply by the equation at the bottom here and we see that the coefficient of y in the first equation is negative 2 so negative 2 has to multiply with the second equation and the same is true of the coefficient of y in the second equation which is minus 4 it has to multiply by the entire equation in the first instance and this is negative 4 here what are we doing why are we doing this because we see here that the coefficients of y variables here they're different we've got a negative 2 and a negative 4 here so they're different and we know here that for us to be able to eliminate the y variables we need to make sure that we have the same uh, coefficients of y variables and this is what we're trying to do okay before adding or subtracting this is what you do if the coefficients of those variables want to get rid of or eliminate they're different so equalize the two equations first balance the two equations first and this is what you've just done so let's try to simplify so the, in the first case negative 4 will multiply by everything here so negative 4 by x we're going to have negative 4x negative 4 times negative 2y is positive 8y negative 4 times times positive 4 is negative 16 so the first equation changed from this equation to this equation and the second one is we're going to do the same negative 2 has to multiply by everything here so negative 2 by x is negative 2x negative 2 by 4 x 4 negative 8y and in the end negative 2 by 6 we get negative 12 so I see here that you know the coefficients here are actually now the same. This is beautiful, isn't it? Correct. So at this particular point in time, you can now either add or subtract, depending on which operation, you know, if we put here, we'll actually eliminate the y variables. As we're able to see, this is positive 8 and this is positive 8. So we just have to use the subtraction operation. Excellent so that we maintain the x and eliminate the y beautiful right so then we say negative 4x minus minus 2y the 2x rather we're going to have minus 4x minus minus 2x okay then if you say positive 8y minus 8y will get zero they'll be eliminated and that's what we wanted okay then we go further we just use one equal sign here negative 16 minus minus 12 you write it negative 16 minus minus 12 you simplify further this will be minus 4x minus minus is plus 2x this will give us minus 16 minus minus is plus you simplify further negative 4x plus 2 x we have minus 2x and this will give us minus 16 plus 12 this will be minus 4 then for you to get the x value you need to remove or eliminate or get rid of this minus 2 how 
by using the multiplicative in this of minus 2, this will give us minus 1 half. So you multiply both sides by negative 1 half. If you say negative 1 half times negative 2, you get positive 1. Positive 1 times x, you're going to have x here. Then we're going to say this minus 4, we know is minus 4 over 1. We're going to multiply the numerators. Negative 4 times negative 1. Negative, negative is positive. 4 by 1 is 4. So numerator is 4. And the denominator is 1 times 2. That's a 2 here. So x value therefore, 2 into 4, it goes 2 times. The value of x therefore is 2. Now that you've gotten the value of x, you go back to the original equation. You pick either the first or the second equation here. Okay? Depending on which one you want, so that we, we find the value of y. So for example, you pick the first one. Now remember, x value is 2. So if you pick the first one, that is x minus 2y will give us 4. While there is x, you substitute 2. So here you put a 2, you say 2y, this will be 4. What you want to do here is to find the value of y. How? So at this particular point in time, you use what you call the additive inverse of this particular 2. And you see here that's, that it's a negative 2. So you add both sides, you know, the additive inverse of positive 2 and that's minus 2. You add it here. Okay, we're going to have 4 plus minus 2. You get, you simplify this, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Then you have got negative 2y. This will give us 4 plus minus 2 is minus 2 here. Then we're going to have negative 2y is equal to positive 2. Look at this particular question. Now here what we want is to find the y variable. Equally, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1 over 2, which is the multiplicative inverse of negative 2. You multiply them by the multiplicative inverse of negative 2, which is negative 1 half. You simplify this, we're just going to have something like this. Here we just have got the y is equal to negative 1 half times negative 2 is 1. 1 by y is y. Then this side you have got 2 times negative 1 half. If you simplify this, we're going to have y is equal to this 2 is actually over 1. So do the numerators, you multiply the numerators. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 over 1 times 2 is a 2. y therefore is minus 1. And this is the value of 1. So what we are seeing here is that in both scenarios, we are getting the same answers. Depending on which val variable you first want to work out with. If you want to find the value of x, meaning you need to eliminate the variables of y. If you want to find the value of y, you need to eliminate the variables of x. So it's quite interesting. That is it about elimination, please. See you in my next substitution method now, using the same question. See you.